welcome to Modeling Misadventures. Now, if you've watched a couple of my recent videos, you will have seen the construction of these two models, Thunderbirds 1 and Thunderbirds 3. But they're starting to look a little bit lonely up on the shelf. So I've decided to add to the collection and I'm gonna start building a model of Thunderbird 4. Now, this is also going to be a 3D printed model. And I've been getting a few questions about the 3D printing process itself. So on this build, I'm going to show a little bit more detail about the type of 3D printer that I've got, the 3D printing filament that I use, and how you actually slice the files in order to print them. So this is a 3D printer that I use. It's a Prusa Mark III S. It's made in the Czech Republic and it has a reputation for being a very solid and reliable make and it's also very easy to use. You can see I've got it set up next to the computer so that I can transfer files from the computer onto the printer. And the filament that I typically use is this eSun PLA Plus, which you can get in a variety of colors, but the ones I most commonly use are black and white. This printer has an easy to use control panel. You can see it gives you various readouts, including the temperature of the filament extruder and the bed. Um, it tells you how long the print is gonna take and how long you've got left. There's also an SD card slot here, and that's to allow you to transfer files between the computer and the printer. So this is the model that I'm gonna use. It's available on the website Colts 3D. Now this isn't a free download. You have to buy this one. Uh, it's costing me 23 Australian dollars, which is probably about 15 pound. You can see here that the model is 15 centimeters long, but I'm gonna scale it up three times so that it's about 45 centimeters long. Now the files that you download from this website are in the format known as STL, and that just means that they can be read by a piece of software known as a slicer. This model is made up from 27 separate files, which you simply download from the website and save onto your computer. So once you've downloaded the files from the website, you need to import them into a slicer and I use the Prusa slicer that is available for free and can be used with Prusa 3D printers. I'm going to go to file here, import, import STL. This has taken me to the folder where the Thunderbird 4 files are. I'm going to click on body main and open and you can see it imports a, a picture of that part onto the slicer. Now it's sitting upright at the moment. I'm going to rotate it through 90 degrees and that gets it to lay flat on the print bed. So you can see that's what the print will look like. Now in order to print it, it has to be sliced into lots and lots of horizontal layers. So we can go down here and click slice now and this will then slice the model ready for printing. And this is what it looks like in its sliced configuration. And you can see that now it's made up of lots of individual layers. And that's how it will print it when we transfer the file to the printer. So all we now need to do is to export what's known as the G code onto an SD card and put the SD card into the printer and then that is ready to print. So I've done a test print of that part and here it is in its original size and it's come out uh, nice, it's a nice print. It's got some nice surface details on it. And I wanted to print that just to make sure that it would print okay uh, on the printer without any additional tinkering with it. And it's come out really nicely. Now I said earlier that I was going to scale this model up. This is the actual size of it 
uh, based on the original print files but I want to make it three times bigger so I'm just going to go down here to the scaling and scale it to 300 percent and this now is how large the print will be now it's taken about a minute to slice this file because it's so large and so complex uh, but now it's done it it's going to tell me how long it will take to actually print it now it's telling me that this print is going to take two days four hours and 44 minutes to complete I think that's actually the longest one I've ever done all right here we go and we're off Well, it's going to be busy it's got 52 hours to go and it won't even get a cup of tea well here we are we're 14 hours into the print and all we've got so far is what looks like a big slab of plastic if we have a look at the data you can see that we're 27% of the way through the print. And there are 38 hours remaining. So that's it. I'm going to go to bed, leave it running overnight, and come back and see what we've got in the morning. Good morning, printer. And here we are after an overnight run, and it's still going strong. And starting to take shape. You can see it's doing the edge pieces. So coming on quite nicely and you can see we're up to 46% of the print done, 28 hours remaining. Okay, we're now about 37 hours into this print. You can see it's uh, taking shape along the side. There's a number four been uh, put on there. And if we have a look at the data, print is 72% finish. We've got 14 hours and 43 minutes to go. So I'm now going to bed again. The printer's going to carry on all night. And we'll see where we've got to in the morning. Well, here it is after another overnight run. And it is really starting to take shape you can see the side panels on Thunderbird 4 there and if we have a look at the data we're 90% done and just five hours remaining well here we are coming to the end we've only got one minute to go 99% done. You can see it's uh, taking shape and it's just now finishing off the uh, dorsal fin. And that's it finished. So here's that part and I think it's come out brilliantly. The details on it are fantastic. So I think it's going to be a really great model, this. So I'm going to spend the next few days printing off the rest of the parts, but I hope you enjoyed that video showing how we get to this stage. In the next video, we'll have all the parts and start putting it together. But for now, I'm going to say goodbye, and I'll see you next time on Modeling Misadventures.